All right, let's go ahead and hide this layer. And if you weren't aware, Illustrator works on all kinds of sub layers, depending on what you're doing. There can be lots and lots of those. So I'm going to add a new layer, hide what we just did, unhide the guides, and come in here with the line tool. Now, depending upon what you have here, this is going to behave differently. So let's just do it without changing anything so something doesn't work right. I'm going to come up, make sure I'm on that guide, come down, and again, it'll snap. But the way to be sure, hold down the shift button. So uh, the shift key. So I'm going to come down uh, kind of close to the center. Let's go right there. Let's live dangerously. And then get the black arrow and select it. And nothing's there. Why is nothing there? Well, it's because we have no stroke color. And we can pick it right here. We can pick it right here. We can pick it. You go all over the place. But let's go ahead and just pick black. If you're using this panel to pick all your colors, you're very silly because what do you have here? 42 choices or something like that. If you want 16.7 million choices, you'll make your decision here. If you want black, make sure it's all zeros. That is not black, okay? So you come down, drag outside that box, and you've got black for certain. All right, so now you still can't really see it. Let's go ahead and pop up our width a little bit. We can go in, well, we can't hide the guides because we need them for one more step. Now, before I rotate a straight line, which when you think about it is just a very thin rectangle, and haven't we already done that, uh, in, that in a prior video? Let's uh, grab the width tool, which is right here. See that guy? Click on it to select it, come up to this top point and click and drag. Oh my goodness, how cool is that? We can change the width of this. We don't want to go crazy, so I'm just going to come all right about there. And then get the black arrow, make sure this is selected, and then come down to the rotate tool. Make sure we're at the intersect, hold down option, and click. Now, because our last rotation was 10, we get that. And again, our preview should be on. If it's not on, uh, you don't see anything, and this is not very informative. So I'm going to try three, and let's see what that does. Just hit tab after I type that so I could see what, what was happening, and say, OK, let's copy that. Now, Command-D, remember, you hold down Command and touch D, it does it again. Hold down Command and hold down D, and you get do it again, do it again. I like it. Okay, and we go all the way around. It's just a really quick way. When you get close, stop, because you don't want to drop these over the top of the pre-existing ones. So now, if I get the black arrow, click to deselect, hide the guides layer, you see we get a really cool starburst. And depending upon how far we pulled this out, how much we rotated, and so long as our angle of rotation is evenly divisible into 360, we get these evenly spaced negative uh, elements that perfectly balance our rotation. Now, if that's not cool and a quick way to automate things, I don't know what is, but remember, that do it again doesn't just have to be for rotating. What if you wanted evenly spaced rectangles moving across the screen? You could do that the same way too. Just think about how you can leverage these new skills to do new cool stuff in Illustrator. All right, let's come back and learn just a touch. This is a very simple intro to the pen tool coming up but it includes something kind of complicated, so it's kind of cool.